speaker, Mr. Speaker, same as they say, same khaki pants. Another, another move, another amendment we have to make so us to be compliant to the Financial as Action Task Force requirements on money laundering, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, this one is to deal with the businesses called the money services businesses, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, at the forefront of, of the mutual evaluation review, Mr. Speaker, we, we found that St. Lucia had no proactive measures to identify a natural legal person that carry on money and value transfer services, MVTS, without a license, and to apply sanctions for, to such persons. That means St. Lucia received a partially compliant rating for recommendation 14. So, Mr. Speaker, this bill amends section 40 of the Money Services Business Act to authorize the Financial Services Regulatory Authority to monitor and to license money services businesses and to take actions against individuals carrying on money services businesses without a license in St. Lucia. So this means, Mr. Speaker, that all the people in money services, Mr. Speaker, people who transact money, who send money um, in, who, who provide loans, these, uh, the, all this, this um, payday loans, Mr. Speaker, um, payday loans, micro lending, moving money, they have to get license, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, speaking about payday loans, Mr. Speaker, I think whereas we are passing these rules, these regulations to protect international bodies, we need also to to encourage and educate our people, Mr. Speaker, in budgeting and using finance, Mr. Speaker, using money, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, these payday loans are very attractive, but I don't think that when we take them, we ever check the rate of interest that we pay on these loans, Mr. Speaker. Sometimes these in, that interest on these loans as a high as 30%. So, Mr. Speaker, we need to have a process of education, financial literacy, to tell people how to use their credit cards. There are certain people, Mr. Speaker, who use credit cards to pay credit cards, who take loans from these payday, payday loan areas to pay credit cards, Mr. Speaker. So, you, because the interest on the credit card sometimes is over 20%, 25%, 29%, Mr. Speaker. So, whereas we are doing all these, all these things, to protect, to first to be compliant with international regulations, we need to educate our own people. Our own people need to use, need to look at other means of save, other means of doing their financial transactions, so they cannot fall prey to these predators, etc., Mr. Speaker. So I, I think it's a very simple amendment to all the FS, FSRA to license and to regulate these businesses, but our people must be careful in the way they use these businesses and in the way they use their finances, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I ask members to approve this amendment.